Tonight, the final chapter of a crusade that began 16 years ago for a local cancer survivor. President Trump just signed the $1 million Congress approved funding for Trevor's Law, named for Boise's Trevor Schaefer, who believes his childhood brain cancer was environmentally caused as a child growing up in Valley County. We have followed his journey for over a decade here at KTVB, and our coverage continues tonight with a very busy Morgan Boydston. He beat brain cancer in 2007. Ever since, Trevor Schaefer has been fighting another tireless battle on Capitol Hill. Well, I think this is a really huge step. Now, the fruits of that decade-long relentless fight. It feels great. And in 2016, um, I thought that we were very close uh, to the end product of uh, being able to help so many communities throughout the country as well. That help coming in the form of President Trump signing off on spending a million dollars to implement Trevor's law. Words can't describe um, how big this is and how much momentum this will give us um, to move forward and get Trevor's law finally implemented. As the inspiration behind Trevor's law, Schaefer was diagnosed with cancer at 13. Cancer, he believes, was caused by contaminated water in McCall. President Obama signed it into law back in 2016. The big issue up until this point has been funding for the law. A law that mandates federal assistance to communities experiencing contamination due to environmental issues and sparks government evaluation of potential cancer clusters. There was no protocol. Um, it was very broken. Um, and a lot of times communities got the runaround. There's no problem or the, the population is it significant enough to warrant a study. Now that it's funded, communities can ask the federal government for help to partner with local agencies and investigate suspected cancer clusters. Health and Human Services will create stricter guidelines to address the issue and set up a database to help track areas. It's going to take some time. Trevor and his mom teamed up with a group of activist mothers in Indiana and their senator, Joe Donnelly, who worked with longtime champion Senator Mike Crapo. And without them, uh, this wouldn't have been possible. After years of hard work, history was made for reform and for families across the country. It's given all of them a voice, and I've said that for years. It's, it gives communities uh, a voice. And also a movie based on the book that chronicles Trevor's journey is in the works. Hollywood producer B Bonnie Bruckheimer signed on as its executive producer. No release date has been released.